Hey guys, in this video we're talking about what molar mass means and how to find it. So molar mass is just a way of saying the amount of grams of an element or compound that's in each mole. So there's two different sort of questions you might see. The first one is when you're trying to find the molar mass of an element on the periodic table. The second is when you're trying to find the molar mass of a compound or a molecule like H2O, NH4, something like that, where it's more than one atom put together. So, it's pretty easy to find the molar mass of an element. All you need to do is look at your periodic table. And we're going to find the molar mass of one atom of oxygen. So all you need to do is go to your periodic table. This is mine, it's fancy. Find oxygen and see what the atomic mass is. So in this case it's 16. Oxygen has 16 by atomic mass, we mean atomic mass units, in every atom of it. So for oxygen, for any element on the periodic table, its molar mass is equal to its weight in atomic mass units. So the molar mass of oxygen equals 16 grams per mole. Okay. So when we're talking about the molar mass of a compound or a substance, well, they're all just made up of individual atoms bonded together. So we're going to do the example of ZnNO32. So the first thing we need to think is how many atoms of zinc do we have? One. So we have one zinc plus we have this little two down here applies to the three oxygen and it applies to the one nitrogen. So we have two nitrogen plus we have three times two will be six. We have six oxygen. So all we need to do now is find each of those elements on the periodic table, find its weight, it will be the same as the atomic weight and atomic mass units, add it all together and write it in terms of gram per mole. So let's find a zinc on the periodic table somewhere. Zinc has a mass of 64.5. So one atom of zinc would have a mass of 64.5 AMU, atomic mass units, plus two nitrogen. Nitrogen, if we look on the periodic table, has a weight of 14. So two nitrogens would be 14 plus 14, which would be 28 grams per mole is what the unit will end up being, grams per mole. We can leave it as AMU for now. And oxygen we found was 16 AMU. So all I'm going to do is go 6 times 16 equals 96 AMU. And if I add that all together, 96 plus 28 plus 64.5 equals, I get 188.5. Think about your units, it's molar mass, it's always grams per mole. So, one mole of ZnNO32 would have 188.5 grams in it. Let's do one more. I'm going to keep oxygen up there because we have some molecules or some 
atoms of oxygen in the next question. So we have Pt two oh three three H two O. So the mass of Pt is a hundred and ninety five point one. So a hundred and ninety five point one times two would be because we have two atoms. We had 390.2 grams per mole, or AMU, whatever for that one, plus 3 oxygen, oxygen was 16, so 3 of them would have 48, AMU plus 3 times 2 would be 6, we have 6 hydrogen, hydrogen has a weight of 1, so 6 times 1 would just be 6, and we have 3 oxygen. That would be 3 times 16, again, which would be another 48. So when we add those all together, we'll go 390.2 plus 48 plus 6 plus 48, and we get 492.2. Think about your units. Molar mass is always in grams per mole. So one mole of PT2O3 by 3H2O would be 492.2 grams.